Sensors are all over the place and are very important when it comes to IoT. They're used in your homes, your workplaces, your smartphones, and are also used to affect many of the decisions that will in turn affect you. In particular, we'll be discussing three kinds of sensors today, so stay tuned. All right, so it always helps to know what the definition of something is before we start talking about it. There are many different definitions of a sensor, but simply put, a sensor detects when something changes. Whatever changes is known as the input. Sensors can detect many different kinds of inputs. Some examples are light, heat, motion, moisture, pressure, and many other creative types of changes that can happen in an environment. The output is pretty much just a signal. Usually one of two things is done with the output. It is commonly sent to a readable display so that many people can read about what changed, but the output can also be transmitted somewhere else in order for a specific task to be performed with the results. Motion sensors are a good example of this second concept. Detecting when something moves is the input but the output can be sent to a totally different device in a different location in order to do things like turn on lights, open doors, or send alerts to your phone. And applications like these are what make sensors extremely valuable for IoT uses. The first type of sensor we'll touch on today is the temperature sensor. Temperature sensors are all designed to measure the amount of heat energy in an object or environment and then convert that into a readable number. Temperature sensors are used almost every day in your daily life, such as in refrigerators, weather sensing, agriculture, and electronic devices. In fact, whatever electronic device you're on now has some kind of temperature sensor. It's common for a temperature sensor to be combined with a humidity sensor, which measures the water vapor in an atmosphere. Because temperature and humidity sensors work so well together, they're very popular in the manufacturing industry as manufacturing requires very precise, very specific working conditions. If you're able to measure the humidity and the temperature, you can detect sudden changes so you can take action ASAP, which ensures that the whole process runs smoothly. The Sensirion SHT4X series are the next generation of their industry-proven humidity and temperature sensors. The SHT4X series is based on a newly optimized CMO Sense chip featuring reduced power consumption with improved accuracy, making it an excellent choice for mobile and battery-driven applications. Up next is the gas sensor. These are designed to, surprise, detect gas. To be more specific, they're intended to monitor the air quality and detect the presence of toxic, hazardous, and combustible gas in the area. Gas sensors are common in oil, mining, chemical, and manufacturing industries. They're also heavily used in pharmaceutical industries as well. Basically, any situation that requires the monitoring of safety oh, conditions. Mm, must be the gas. You have a gas sensor at home in the form of carbon monoxide sensors, breathalyzers, ozone monitors, air pollution sensors, and oxygen sensors are some other examples. There are many different kinds of gas sensors. It just depends what kind of gas you're trying to detect. A very popular kind of gas sensor is the carbon dioxide or CO2 sensor. Sensirion's SCD4X series is a next-gen mini CO2 sensor with an unmatched price-to-performance ratio. The SCD4X is based on Sensirion's patented PassSense and SMOSense technology to enable high performance into a small size, making it cost-effective and space effective for your design. The final sensor types we'll address today are ultrasonic sensors. These either detect the presence of or measure the distance of your intended target. They emit ultrasonic sound waves and record the time it takes for the sound wave to bounce back. So they're similar in concept to radar and sonar. 
These sensors convert the reflected sound into an electric signal for the output. The benefit of ultrasonic sensors is that they're reliable in harsh or demanding conditions, so they're not as easily interfered with by things like smoke, gas, and other airborne particles. Ultrasonic sensors can monitor the liquid levels in closed containers, such as vats and chemical plants, but these sensors are very useful in the medical industry. They can be used to produce images of internal organs, identify tumors, and of course, for ultrasounds, to detect and ensure the health of babies while they're still in the womb. So when it comes to an ultrasonic sensor, look no further than the InventSense CH201 series. The CH201 is a time-of-flight range sensor capable of accurate range measurements at distances up to 5 meters and works in all lighting conditions from full sunlight to pitch black darkness. The CH201 also features a customizable field of view, including simultaneous range measurements for multiple objects in its field of view. It's an ideal option for range finding, presence, and proximity sensing, object detection, and position tracking. And that's the end of today's discussion. Hopefully you're now a bit more familiar with how volatile sensors are and how they can be used. If you're working on an IoT design, you will need sensors along with the additional parts your design needs. And lucky for you, Symmetry has them all. In fact, not only do we have sensors and the rest of your components, but we also have engineers to assist you with your design. So be sure to contact Symmetry today.